once again the video got cut short here is where I'm going to be blown away I'm just going to be blown away I'm blown away now uh, I've realized this no less than five seconds ago now ten seconds ago maybe wait till you see this I want you to this is a display of the power of the spirit of truth guys I'm a witness for the truth of Jesus Christ I'm witnessing I'm witnessing like you wouldn't believe and like some of you don't believe I want you to notice this hook and if this is our Sandman Osiris that first temple from the time of Zeptepi in which this first time it's considered in essence the age of the gods which they're looking back to as their golden age but if they even just look at it it's the truth of what I said about Job chapter 38 lines 1 through 7 that it's not our kingdom that they're looking back to they're looking back to the kingdom the civilizations of the sons of God before they rebelled and then at that time mankind is still uncivilized it's not our heritage and of course this heritage was lost once these sons of God rebelled and then two factions developed from that point out in which the true faction had been wiped out of course as you're seeing by Ishtar teaching these lions whelps to hunt the prey and we're going to come back up to that as we move forward into these videos. It's really so much information now. I've got to pace myself. So if we're talking about Osiris dedicated to that first temple that is called the High Sand. Do your own research on that. And as I said, this is what makes him the Sand Man. Now we've got to start thinking about Sandy Hook in association with millstones that are made from sandstone. And then now look at the hook, the crook of his shepherd's staff that the sand man is holding. The sandy hook. Now, that's not it. Look what the spirit has done for us. You see this shape here? You've seen that before. You see the angle of travel that the idle shepherd staff is making? Well, you've seen that before. It's the same thing that I've been showing you in everything. Where the idle shepherds are going, the same direction of travel. They're going to that high place. They've lit that candle. And of course, they're going to the moon. Right there, friends. I'm not. Remember what we showed you with the hemispheres of the brain and then the Xing. I want you to see that X right there is being displayed the exact same way that I've shown it to you in relationship with the mirror. There's the X for the seal of Osiris. But notice this, friends. Notice a very small inverted phallic triangle that shows here and then a huge womb triangle that develops there. And then the path of travel for the idle shepherds the Sandy Hook, which is associated with the Assyrian Aryan hooked nose, even. And guys, look at this. This is where I'm blown away. Same thing. As I told you, the geometry here from this drawing that I uploaded from a video probably almost two years now which would be ye shall know them by their fruits and we most certainly do friends there is the small phallus that develops as I said from the faulty observation of a singular eye looking into the mirror the mirror that they're looking into is the faulty historical past which in a sense is only once again reflecting the material just as we see here now the spirit is reversed back into matter that's that backwards s that we're talking about guys this is the very shape that is being made right here in this ancient hieroglyph of osiris orion do you understand what's happening i 
I do. I, I just hope that you, uh, you realize that a seer has been sent unto any who could receive. And then, of course, many that plan to stone him. So be it. So be it. I'm held up. I'm held up by a, a higher spiritual authority that has held up many like me in the past and will continue to hold me up until we see this through. As you can imagine, this will not stop. This is not going to stop everything that I say, everything that I touch, everything that I see is being guided by the spirit of truth. That, my friends, is outright amazing. The same geometry that could only be formed by the line of sight connecting this eye to this eye this eye to that apple which brings us down to these two points which then all we have to do is connect these two points to those points and it falls within the perfect line of this fire in that sight which is their left eye now by default in the position of the right making them in a sense being projected to the dark side the exact same proportions I'm absolutely blown away. But I have learned that this is how it's going to be. And this is where I already know that I'm true. And that what has been given to me is true. It's just the point of getting all of you guys to understand that. I've supposedly been told by... see the proof of it that nobody can disprove me nobody can disprove the validity of how this is all unfolded on this channel even though they do try but they even in their own hearts understand what's happening here all of these people that came to me understand this as you see my phone is going absolutely haywire there's various things that are going on that is out of my control that I'm just going to power right on through. Uh, okay, guys. I mean, if you're still not reeling over that, don't, don't take lightly what I showed you here with the X, even the crossing here, out, fulfill the line of sight with the mirror, taking the left eye back to the right, that same angle of travel that we have seen. Oh, boy. That we have dis seen displayed over and over Again, these idle shepherds, the supposed remnant of Rev 12, in connection to the psyops of the Sandy Hook, which is more code for the millstone made out of sandstone, the whole nine, pun intended. Pun intended. Notice that the circle, or at least the eyes, the circle with the dot, which is the symbol for Lucifer which is the symbol for this processional cycle in which their constellational theories have been fixed upon, which they inherited from the fallen sons themselves, which use this as a way to gauge their progress throughout these ages of the sealing period. I'm just absolutely blown away, guys. I just realized that. And, I mean, what do you think, Jakari73? or Mac, or Bill, or Eric, or Queenie Cameron, or Mr. Caddy, or Rev Michelle Hopkins, or Jonathan Kleck, uh, or Du Bois 7007, uh, See the Truth, um, the Illuminati Clown, uh, you know what I mean? Um, Neftali, you know? What do all you guys think? Hmm? Spirit moving through you. Spirit supporting you at every possible turn. Where is the spirit?
Let's go ahead and take a look at something else that I find equally amazing. This will support me in every way that I've told you about this picture. This represents that descendancy, the daughters of Jerusalem. Okay, and we know how this admixture goes into the Aryan philosophy now because of their admixture with these depicted Babylonians and Assyrians of Aryan heritage. And then this is how this gets into Israelite or Jewish tradition. I don't know. I'm just blown away. I noticed that we had an audio outage and it most likely occurred while I was asking certain people questions. Um, what do you think, Neftali, Jonathan Clegg, 77 AEJ, God's Healer, um, Nania, N A N I A, somebody that was subscribed to me a long time ago that basically mines this channel for information and then spins it off into ebooks or what have you. Uh, Eric Coven of Love, what do you guys think here? Huh? And how do I do all this? You already know. And you reject it. Maybe some of you are beginning to see differently because that's how this power of the Spirit works. You know what I mean? It describes that many of us shall bring many to the glory of the truth at this time. That's right, by our mission. And what you see is being fulfilled. What did I tell you about these three particular stars, Betelgeuse, Procyon, and Cirrus, that make up this great southern triangle that is connected to the constellational family of Orion, even connected to the very shoulder of Orion, which we see Betelgeuse is the shoulder star of Orion. Well, my friends, these three stars are described as Sirius, which is blue, Procyon, which is white, Betelgeuse, which is considered orange red. These are those three stars of Orion that are associated with that inverted triangle. It is symbolized as a womb. And now you see the association with the doubles that come into play. And that would be during the timing of the summer solstice. And I want you to see the colors again. Blue, white, orange, and red. Associated with the womb, symbolism of the sacred feminine. Orion, those sons of iron, or those sons of Sam, as we'll see. What do you see here in this picture? regardless of the woman that's been soiled with that black iron, that dark iron, you see the orange red, the white, and the blue. The womb colors, the symbolage of the portal of ancestral origin, genetic heritage in which this fallen prince must be brought through. Right there. What do you think, Mr. Click? Eric, Covenant of Love, of Archaic Symbolism, Bill of Occult Science 101, huh? What's your next video going to be about? The mystery why we see these two white individuals here will be spoken about later. Why that is doubled. <laughs> <coughs> Pretty important. Okay, I mean, let's take it one step further. If this still doesn't have you freaking off your rocker, off your rock. I said that this was in uh, the title, at least of the last video, these arrows of Orion that he's depicted constellationally wise shooting as he is depicted as the hunter. As I said, depicting once again, these fallen sons of God that were taught by this philosophy of this supposed royal genetic heritage, this special chosen race, which was as a result of bringing together this dark and this potential light. And we know that's the sons of the fallen 
with the mortal daughters of men. And we said that that was going to be in reflection of Revelation chapter 13, verse 13, that would have to perfectly connect with Orion. And it would have to do it in a way that I have already foretold that it would throughout the whole channel history. And I'd like you to go ahead and read here with me. Several astronomical computer programs such as Skyglobe and Redshift allow researchers to simulate the effects of precession. And remember I told you precession is going to give us this symbol here. The circle with the dot in the center. Okay. And we'll talk about this here as we move into the astronomical portion of the series here. Um, this would be the celestial ecliptic pole where we find everybody else is wobbling around in this chaotic <laughs> circle. And then we see this would